How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So let's say you updated your iPhone to iOS 17 and you noticed this. The maximum capacity on your iPhone battery health just dropped. It went down by one, two, three, or sometimes even 4%. And now you're probably thinking, is iOS 17 destroying my battery? What's going on? Why is this happening? Well, let me explain and it's actually easier than you think. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm switching iPhones right here and you will understand why in a second. And let's head back to settings and then go back here to battery, exactly where we were, right? And battery health and charging. And right here we see maximum capacity and the percentage. So what this means pretty much is how new your iPhone battery is. So when you open up your iPhone out of the box, right, first day, it's gonna be at 100%. Just like mine, this is a brand new iPhone. And it's gonna be at 100% for a few days, weeks, and sometimes even months if you take care of your iPhone battery. And the thing is, after a while, it's gonna start dropping, right? 99, 98, 95. So this number represents the current capacity it has compared to when it was new. So if it says here 95%, it means that you lost 5% of your capacity. So the maximum your battery can give you is 95% of what it originally had, of when you opened it up out of the box on the first day, okay? so. That's what maximum capacity means. And this number is actually automatically calculated by iOS, right? Because it updates here automatically. And how is this calculated? It's so simple, using battery cycles. And that's why I got this iPhone. So if we come back here and we go to the very first screen of our settings and tap on general and then about and then scroll all the way down, you'll see right here battery, as you can see. And this is a new section that's only available in the iPhone 15 series. This is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And as you can see here, battery, it shows right there, cycle count six. As I told you, this iPhone is brand new, battery is brand new, so we just ran six cycles, okay? And with the cycle count information, iOS will be able to calculate your maximum capacity percentage. And by the way, if you wanna check your cycle count and you don't have an iPhone 15, no problem at all because I have a video here on the channel where I teach you exactly this, how to manually get the cycle count on any iPhone battery. So I'll leave a card right here and link in the description. So uh, with all that said, okay, now you know what maximum capacity is, how iOS calculates it and everything else. Why is my battery health dropping after iOS 17? And well, the explanation is super simple, guys. It's not iOS 17, actually, because the maximum capacity is recalculated every time we update the software. So not just iOS 17, but any iOS software update, because every time we update the iOS software, it runs some checks. And on those checks, on those checkups that it does, it includes the battery. So that's when iOS will calculate, will see your battery cycle count and everything like that, and then we'll update this number. So when we update the software and we see this number drop, it's just a number update. So the battery itself is not being degraded or anything like that. So let me give you an example, okay? A clear example. On this iPhone 14 Pro of mine, and if we come back here once again and get here, I got here 86%, right? Before iOS 17, I was on 88, and then I updated and lost 2%, but I didn't lose 2%. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, this iPhone was already at 86% when I was in iOS 16, and then when I updated to iOS 17, it updated the number, and then it went from 88 to 86. But my battery didn't get worse because of the update. My battery didn't degrade because of iOS 17. No, no, no. It just updated the number. The battery is exactly the same. It was already, as a matter of fact, in 86%. But it needed the update. It needed iOS 17 to recalculate and show me the current number, even though the battery is exactly the same. So that's what I'm trying to say. Don't worry about this. iOS is not degrading your battery. 
it's just recalculating and updating the number. But of course, if you've noticed that your battery is worse now in iOS 17, and a lot of people are feeling this, I do recommend that you take a look at this other video of mine, link in the description as well, where I give you a lot of tips on how to save a ton of battery life in iOS 17. So don't worry about the number, don't worry about maximum capacity or anything like that, just pay attention to your battery itself. If you're feeling that your battery life got worse, you're not getting the same battery as many hours as you used to, then go ahead and take a look at this video of mine where I showed you how to save a ton of battery life, okay? So that's it, that's literally it, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.